We're reading Curious George Rides a Bike by H A R E Y. Hooray! <laughs> Jack, you ready to read? Yeah, hi, kiddies. Make sure you subscribe and like and be our friend. Because I'm watching you and we're going to have a good time. <laughs> We love Jack the Bear and Golden Hair. And make sure you listen to our podcast, Enchanting Book Readings. Number one around the world and a top USA podcast for kids. Okay, let's go, go, go. Because George is going to ride a bike. Oh, and curious George is a monkey. Yeah. Okay, so hi everybody. I'm Curious George and get out of my bed. And I love my friend, a man with a yellow hat. <laughs> And I'm a good little monkey and I'm very curious. And I woke up and I knew this was going to be a special day. You know why? <laughs> There's my owner, the man with the yellow hat. At breakfast, my friend said, Today we're going to celebrate because just three years ago today, I brought you home with me from the jungle. So tonight I'll take you to the animal show. But first, I have a surprise for you, George. <gasps> My human has a surprise for me. I'm so excited. Here's the surprise, George. I wonder what it is. Ooh, 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 It's a big box. I wonder what's in it. I wonder what's in it. I wonder. Oh, my gosh. It's a bicycle. It's a bicycle. Oh, my gosh. I can ride a bike now. Thanks. So, he, my human had to go and leave. I must go now. But I'll be back in time for the show. Be careful with your new bike and keep close to the house while I'm, I'm gone. Okay, see you later. I love my new blue bike. Woohoo! <laughs> zoom, 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 ziggity, ziggity, zag, zag, zag. I can ride very well and I can even do sort of tricks because monkeys are good at tricks. Look at me. Whee! I could ride my bike with no hands on the handlebars or monkey paws. I could ride with one of the bicycle tires up in the air. Woo! I'm a cowboy wild bronco. Look at me now. Oh, and I can even ride backwards. I can do all kinds of tricks. Look at me. Wee! 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 Woo! Hi, how are you? <laughs> He's delivering mail. The newspaper boy was just passing by with a bag full of papers. It's a fine bike you have there, he said to me. How would you like to help me deliver the papers? <gasps> what a job. Yeah, here, take some papers and you can go on the side of the street first and turn back and do the other side. Oh, I'm now a newsboy just with a new job. This is so cool. Oh, so George is going to deliver newspapers. Here you go. Here's your newspaper. Here's your newspaper. Come get your newspaper. Oh, Jack, he's delivering. Yeah, isn't he fun? So, I started to deliver papers on one side of the street, as I was told, and when it came to the last house, I saw a little river in the distance, and I was curious. I wanted to know what the river was like, so instead of turning back to deliver the rest of the papers, I just wanted to have fun in the little river. Do you see the little river up ahead? So he did all the mail, and ooh, that's a curious river to George. Let's see what he's going to do. Zoom, 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 zoom. Over the little bridge, I see ducks, and I see boys playing with towels. Ooh, how fun. There was a lot to see in the river. A man was fishing on the bridge. Fishing, fishing. A duck family was passing down the stream, and two boys playing with their boats. Oh, I like to stop and look at the boats. But maybe the boy might find out that I not delivered all the papers. Oh, so I gotta go right on. So I'm gonna go right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While riding along, I thought to myself, mm, it'd be so much fun to have a boat. How could I get one? I thought and thought and then I had an idea. Oh, I want a boat too. So, oh, I'll take a newspaper. Aha, I take the newspaper out of the bag and folded it in three corners like this. I can make a boat out of the newspapers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I folded both edges up and brought the edges together and then flattened it sidewise, then turned one corner up, then the other one. Again, brought the ends together 
and flattened it sidewise and then gently pulled the ends out. <gasps> Aha! There's my boat! So that's how you make a paper boat! That's so cool! And then you know what George is just gonna do? Oh, he's gonna launch his boat! Yep! Sailing his boat with a whole fleet of boats! That's right! I have a whole fleet of boats! Look! Even the little duckies got in! Oh, how fun! My fleet of boats are going down the river. I'm going to ride alongside. Woo, look at my boats. Oh, and the ducks and the frogs are having so much fun. This is so much fun to play. I love playing paper sailboats along the river. Woohoo! on my new bike. Oh, no. Clash, bink, boink, boink, boing. My bicycle hit a rock and I flew off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Boink, crash, bink. Look at his bicycle. Oh, wow, the front wheel is out of shape and the tire blown out. Oh, my new birthday bike is all ruined. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I mean, let me see if I get on top of the bicycle, but it wouldn't go. The tires are all bent out of shape. Oh, I have to carry it, but it's too heavy. Oh, my new bicycle ruined and the newspapers are gone. Oh, no, I should have listened to my friend to keep close to the house. Oh, I'm just going to cry. Oh, oh. Oh, I can ride on one wheel. It worked. He tried to start going. And then, then he had never seen before. A big giant car was coming forward to him with a trailer behind it. Oh my gosh, a big truck that had like a kangaroo in it. And what else was in there? The trailers were all sorts of zoo animals. To George, it was like a zoo on wheels. The tractor stopped. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, one of the animals must escape from the truck. A man jumped out. Well, well, well. A little monkey who can ride a bike like Bronco fashion. We can use you in our animal show tonight. I am the director of the show and this man is Bob. He can straighten your wheel and fix that flat to no time. And then we'll take care of you along with the place where the show is going to be. Uh-oh, the man got George. Oh, no! They put him in the truck. They, he thinks he's their friend. Jeff! Help! They have Curious George. So, the three of them got into the cab and drove off. Maybe you could play a fanfare while you ride your back in the show, the director said. I have a bugle for you right there, and later you'll get a green coat and cap just like Bob. He's tricking them. Oh, no. Look at all the zoo animals in the cages. Oh, my gosh. What's that? Oh, my gosh. A zebra, a kangaroo, a tiger, a seal, a hippopotamus. Oh, they got all kind of animals. On the showgrounds, everybody was bu busy getting ready for the show. I must do some work now, said the director. Meanwhile, you may have to look around and get acquainted with the animals, but you must not feed them, especially the ostrich, because he will eat anything and then might get sick afterwards. You got that, little monkey? Ooh, ooh, I, I got it. I got it. So, I'm very curious, and would the ostrich really eat anything? Aha, uh -huh, look what I got. <laughs> Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? He would need a bugle horn. I would he? George went a little close to the cage and before he knew it, mm -hmm. guess what happened? That ostrich grabbed my bugle horn. Oh, give me that back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the ostrich tried to snatch the bugle and tried to swallow it, but a bugle is hard to swallow even for an ostrich. It got stuck in his throat. Wah, wah, wah. George was frightened. Oh, oh, the ostrich was struggling. He couldn't swallow it down. They had to pull and pull and pull and pull as hard as they could. Ugh. What did you do, little monkey? I told you not to give the ostrich anything. No, this thing is stuck in his throat. You got to watch out. So, the director was very angry with George. We could not have that little monkey who does not do what they told, he said. Of course you could not take part in the show now. We will send you home. George sat on the bench all day by himself and nobody even looked at him. Ah, look at him. He's a bad boy. I'm terribly sorry for what I've done, but it's too late. I have 
spoiled everything. No, I can't be in the show with my cool new green uniform and hat and bugle. I just wanted to be curious and play. So meanwhile, the ostrich, always hungry, had got hold of a string dangling near his cage. Mm, I'm hungry. What's this? Mm, mm, mm. This happened to be the string which held the door into the cage of a baby bear. As the ostrich nibbled on it, the door opened and the baby bear got out. Hi, Jack, a baby bear. And the little bear ran away as fast as it could straight for a high tree near the camp. Nobody had seen it but George, and George was not supposed to leave his bench. But this was an emergency, so he jumped up and grabbed the bugle and blew his horn as loud as he could. Then he rushed to his bicycle. The men had heard the alarm and thought George was being naughty again. But when they saw the empty cage and the ostrich nibbling the string, they knew what happened. Alert! Bear's gone off! Bear's gone off! That ostrich is eating again. So George raced towards the tree far ahead of the men. By now, the bear had climbed quite high, and this dangerous because little bears can climb up a tree easily, but coming down is much harder. I'm stuck up here, and I don't know how to get down. Jack, the little bear is stuck up there. Oh, and he may fall down and get hurt, and the men were worried they didn't know how to get him down safely, but George had his plan. I have a plan! I have a plan! Because I'm a monkey, and I can climb up trees. Ooh, 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 ah. On the back, over his shoulder, he went up the tree as fast as the monkey could do and reached the baby bear. Hi, baby bear. Hi, hi. It's George. Look at me. I'm a monkey. I can hold onto the branches with my, my legs and you can go in the mail sack. So he put the bear in his back and carefully lowered him down so the men could easily catch the bear. Oh, the bear is so safe. And you know what? Everyone cheered for George as he came down from the tree. You're a brave little monkey, said the director. You saved the baby bear's life. Now you'll get your coat back. And of course you can ride your bike and play the bugle in our show. <gasps> I get my coat and get to be in the show. I'm so excited. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. The zoo show has started. The animals are out. The seal, the kangaroo. And there's George on his bike. And there's the ostrich with the bear. And everyone's having a grand good old time. Huh, Jack? Everyone's having a grand good time. Finally, the show was on, and they were surprised how the whole town came to see it. And the man, George's friend, was surprised to see George in the middle of the show. Why, there's my monkey. Oh, hi. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look at my monkey chicks. And he had been looking for George everywhere and was so happy to found him. And the newsboy was glad to have his bag again. And the people from the other side of the street whose papers George had made into boats were not angry with him anymore. Oh, George, there you are. George is there. And when the time it came for George to say goodbye, the director kept let him keep his coat and cap on the bugle, and then George and his friends got into the car and went away. Thank you so much for my coat. I love it. And my bugle. Well, nice to meet you, George. We'll have you welcome to our show anytime, anytime. Okay, goodbye. So, they went home. Oh, they went home, you know what? It's time to read Jack the Very Golden Hand. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll see you real soon. And enjoy the stories on our channel. We'll see you real soon, our friend. Okay, that's it. Guess what? The end. Goodbye.